Hi, it's Sandy, and this little um, sugar britches is about four and a half by five and a half, and uh, it revolves around sewing. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to give it a title, but um, yeah. It's all about sewing. That's the theme. So we'll just call it sewing. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> if you're interested, you just refer to it as sewing. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, here's the cover. And uh, I've just covered it and stitched it and has lots of lace on the pages, hanging out on the side and the front. And here's the back. This is my hallmark. And inside, I'll put the year on here. I haven't done that yet. And this little tag is a Chatelaine, is that what they used to call them? Sewing Chatelaine. I'm not sure I've got that word right. But sewing items hanging on ribbon they used to use around their neck. Love this image. This is bound so tight, I'm having a little trouble here. This is a cheesecloth and that piece of lace. Hangs down pretty far. This one has quote, sewing mends the soul. And a lot of you might be like me. I have an old singer featherweight that I used to use to make hand make teddy bears. And I still have that little sewing machine. I love it. I actually prefer it over anything. And um, this reminds me of that and I do hand embroidery have for years most of my life this is ribbon embroidery I haven't done that but so I have incorporated other things sewing in different ways it says just take a stitch one at a time and some whoops lace this is open so you can put notes in there and a belly band with, actually it's not a belly band, it's a pocket along the edge. This I thought was extremely interesting, a really unusual, uh, probably a reproduction of a Victorian standing pin cushion. And looks to me like they have their stick pins that women used to wear um, which are pieces of jewelry. Here's a little pocket with a tag to write on. <clears throat> Here's a piece of corrugated. I like to take cardboard and tear the layers off and get down to this ridgy part and then use it as a collage. And it says, a friend is worth a thousand stitches. That's for sure, isn't it? These little tabs are uh, my porch prints. That one's of buttons. And this is a favorite piece of lace that I decided to do half and half with the old sewing basket with sewing items in it and darning tools. And then this beautiful piece of Place. Great image of a probably a 1930s looking at the sewing machine. And it almost looks like she's in a factory uh, at one of the sewing machines. Some lace, and this is cotton eyelet and sari silk. 
In the rhythm of the needle, there, there is music for the soul. This is a beautiful piece of old embroidery. Uh, it's not, it's a photo of the original piece, which is just beautiful. And here's a spool of thread on this tab. Here's a butterfly shaped. They made these rattan sewing boxes in the early turn of the century and the inside was silk and so elaborate and it was just special if you got one as a gift or your grandmother handed one down to you. And this is a handmade bag with a long strap that I got the image off of Pinterest. It's just pretty, showing all kinds of needlework. And some Tim Holtz flowers. And another little old sewing machine. But it has such pretty flowers and linens here in the image. This pretty piece of lace. This is a chocolate box cover photo of it. Love this kind of border. I got it at Hobby Lobby and I coffee dyed it. It's just fun. Uh, this saying says, one kind word can change someone's entire day. We need to really remember that. One kind of word. She's Mendy. This is um, an advertising piece that I'm using as a it's a belly band, but I'm using it sort of as a pocket. This quote is, Beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. And a spool of, with a tape measure wrapped around it. It's a treadle, treadle sewing machine. And lace and... Everything's coffee dyed, and this polka dot pattern comes from the aluminum foil tray that you buy to put in the bottom of your oven to catch spills. Well, in this case, I, um, you know, dip my paper and bake it, laying it flat on those trays, and the little indentations in the tray give me the polka dot effect on the coffee dyed paper and I just like that. I like polka dots. Here's an old shoe that's been made into a pin cushion and has straight pins in it and some pages from an old book and another terrine with forks and buttons and all kinds of things sitting in it. I remember when I used to go to have lunch at my great-grandparents' house who lived down the street. My grandmother had wonderful, her family was from New York and they had wonderful ornate silver. And the silverware was always sitting in a cut glass, like celery jar that they used to use. And the silverware was always in there upside down waiting for the next meal. That was just, it was a table ornament and this silverware was always sitting there. I just loved it from the time I was a little child. This says, gather the threads of your life and stitch them into joy. That's a good one too. Put a whole little doily here. And this is a very familiar parental comment because I said so. Just do it. Well, this is because I said so, S-E-W. I thought that was sort of cute. I have a little 
hole punch that I punched a piece of paper and I use it as a heart stencil and uh, different sewing items and pieces of ABCs and and this says any day spent sewing is a good day and this pocket with sewing cards in it you can journal on the back thread tape measure twine and scissors here's the back this is my hallmark collage of buttons i may add more buttons I'm not sure whether i'm done with this or not but on what i'm really thinking of doing is maybe later this week if you have any feedback let me know thinking of taking three or four of the journals that i made a while back small little sugar bridges and putting them on here first come first serve and uh, discounting them so um, if that sounds like fun might do that uh, anyway this is uh, available she is uh, 95 and she's full as you can see full of inspiration quotes beautiful images the pages I do not glue like I've told you before I leave them so you can add notes ephemera whatever you want to do occasionally they will be sewn shut but not normally a little paper clip will probably add a piece of ribbon and twine to. But there she is. And let's just title this one. Let's sew. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. I ship in the United States. You can get me on Facebook, private message. I'll talk to you later. Bye.